So the question is, do you think the Vedic civilization will continue to exist or cease because of Abrahamic? Thank you, Vaibhav. Thank you very much. Uh, so the Vedic civilization, which is our civilization, it still exists to some extent. We, I would not call India as it is today to be a civilization anymore. A civilization has a certain characteristics and India is today merely a nation state. It is no longer a civilization. A civilization is a net exporter of culture. So it has a cultural sphere of influence that far exceeds its geographical boundaries. And that's what India ha used to be for thousands of years. India has exported culture throughout Asia and throughout the rest of the world for thousands of years. And a civilization also has other characteristics like it is extremely prosperous. It has a strong military. It has a strong military sphere of influence. It has cultural and uh, national institutions that are rooted in its own indigenous culture. So its constitution should be rooted in its own culture, its judiciary, its legislator, legislature, its uh, all of its other institutions should be rooted in its own values, in its own morals and its own culture. So that is not what you find in India today. Today, India's uh, institutions, India's constitution, India's laws are all Western in origin and in nature. The morality that they follow is a Western morality. So it's like we are still ruled by the foreigners even 70 years after we supposedly got our independence. And our constitution defines India as a nation state, not as a civilization state. So I would say that as of today, India is not a civilization. India is something lesser than a civilization. Will Vedic civilization continue to exist? I believe it, the, we have a very strong chance that it should continue to exist if we are able to reclaim our land, reclaim our culture and re-establish it as the primary culture of our homeland. I don't think there is anything wrong with that. Every, every nation follows its own laws and it has its own values and its own morality and its own and their institutions, they follow their, the culture that has been part of that land for, for as long as it has existed. The, you find this in the Islamic countries, you find this in the West. Many countries are openly Christian countries. Most of the Middle Eastern countries are officially Islamic countries. So I don't see why India can again revert to being a Vedic country. It doesn't mean that we're going to kill the minorities or anything. Vedic religion, Hindu religion has been the most respectful and tolerant towards all other cultures. So there is no uh, question of uh, of of our of the, the kind of narrative that is peddled of Hindu supremacy or Hindu majoritarianism or any such thing. So I would say that Vedic civilization could continue to exist. I hope it does, but certain steps will have to be taken for this to happen.